Hey buddies, uh, gonna attempt to build the blaze cone farm thing. Don't want to, said that I didn't want to, but I can find no way of making a good blaze farm. I'm not going to do a tutorial on this, I am going to link the one that I'm using from Ethos Lad just because it's going to take a while I've never built it before and it's for the PC so I don't even know if it's going to work at all if very well so probably just do highlights along the way to let you know I have <laughs> taken the wimps choice and gone over to peaceful mode on here um, Ghasts pretty much destroying everything as I build it. Um, not so much the outer, but all the gubbins and the wiring. And if you've seen the video, you'll understand because there's a lot in it. If you haven't, do check out the tutorial because once I'm finished, I will cover it all up. And there is a hell of a lot that goes into this. It could be a bigger project than I was looking to do. And I don't know if I'm established resources wise enough to do it because it takes a lot of redstone. Right, I will see you along the way. Just as I thought, it's very resource heavy. <laughs> I've used up all of my uh, stone blocks. <laughs> so I'm cooking some more. And yeah, I can see this being the first of many trips back here for various reasons probably lots of that there in a little while as well oh dear so it's getting there looking cone-ish shaped now <laughs> it really is killing off my redstone I brought about 40 repeaters and I've gone through god knows how many stacks of stone bricks now and gonna go and get some more of everything and see how it goes I'll see you in a little while it starts there there <laughs> confusing redstone confusing because I've never done it not redstone obviously um, just trying to get the workings out of how it's all got a roll, got a B, and yeah, I love doing it. But figuring the initial part out is always fun. So shall I keep you informed as we progress. Still, but the main cones built, which took maybe. 30 40 minutes and that was the easy bit so we shall see how long the rest takes so guys we're pretty much finished all the wiring's in that new tube there turns on some lava falls at the top which basically stop the blaze spawning up in yonder um, I would show you but it takes ages for them to go so I shall show you once I'm a hundred percent done and we'll give it a test run then you got your two buttons here's one closes the gate so that they stop falling and the left and right piston there crush them to take them down hopefully to a one hit kill if they do get killed by them I need to adjust some timings and then once you've killed them you press that one opens up the gate and they come back down and now for the scary over the top ridiculously expensive crappy part that is just ridiculous yeah <laughs> it's mental 
It really is. I've even covered loads up behind there, what I've already done. Just in case in all this, because <laughs> I don't want it blowing up. And I scrap with ghasts wherever they are and wherever I am. And I can see some fireballs coming through. And if they hit any of this, I would be devastated. So I may even be <laughs> using my obsidian farm and encase this with obsidian. It's just, yeah, craziness. But it's done. And now comes the whole, am I going to have to cry when I find out this actually doesn't work properly for Xbox? So what I'm going to do is go and get even more resources because I used up all my stone after three trips already. And in case that, get this looking a bit more natural. I may even match up then sides, even though you don't need to there. This side is just for... Uh, sending the redstone signal up you do that with lamps in case you didn't know yes um, so one more trip back to base get some stuff clean up this area and then prepare to cry die or get lots of experience blaze rods and glowstone dust which is hopefully the plan so I shall see you again in a moment so guys, finally covered up, and <laughs> by the sound of it, things are working already. Uh, yeah, pretty much done, covered wise. Want to finish off over there, and they're spawning and coming down. Don't know how close I can get without being battered by them. Um, so yeah. I guess we should uh, push the button. <laughs> and that's funny, it opens the door. Fabulous. Now, if they die, sorry, might be getting an echo. Uh, if they die, I need to adjust. If they're living longer, I need to add more. Oh, that is beautiful. One hit. So, I'm thinking, let them build up a little bit, maybe. I don't know whether to let them build up down here or here, because spawners have a random sort of lore of their own. They can only spawn so many mobs within a certain area, and will only spawn as long as you're within a certain distance. So, I'm thinking we'll open it up. That's the gate in there, not the door. I love when monsters do that, but it always freaks me out because I actually believe they're escaping. So we'll give it a few seconds. I'll just show you in here quickly. All sealed, hopefully nothing should spawn anywhere in here and ruin anything. That was really freaky. Um, right, let's give it another try. Crush them. Basically, the amount of time going around that repeater till it gets shut off there. When you get pushed by a pistol, you lose half a heart. And that makes them lose enough half hearts. Oh, that's gorgeous. What was that, about three levels? Uh, yeah, enough half parts to make them a one hit kill. One punch. So, even better because it's a punch and not a sword. So, you don't have to waste any resources on that. The only resource you have to waste is uh, hunger, I guess. The pistons you can hear firing are up there. What I'm going to do is link EFO's tutorial on this. My god, go and watch it, you will understand what I went through. And the mechanics of this, the guy is seriously some sort of genius. How he figured all this out is way beyond me. Just 
just everything from how to get them down, how to stop them spawning, everything. <laughs> it's mind blowing because these are not like normal mobs, and obviously, being in the Nether, you can't control them with water flows like you can every other mob. So his tutorial will be everywhere. It will be description, annotations. Do have a look. At it. It's brilliant. Um, I've changed a little bit of the interface, but that's about it. Everything else is him, him, and totally him. All credit for this goes to Evo. This is just a video of me making it on Xbox and confirming that it works like a charm. <laughs> Absolutely chuffed bits for this. Not gonna do a dual one with the other Blaze Farm that's there. But, shall leave it, because I do like to go in and scrap with them. Another three levels, and plenty of loot, which is lovely. Uh, yeah, I am going to leave the other one. Not as fast as the PC, and I don't trust it to just leave myself away from my controller for like half an hour because Xbox can be a bit of a pun, to be honest with you. Those pistons that you can see have glass on them. That's why it looks like they're just nothing. Um, only way I can show it is by smashing it, and I'm not going to do that because I don't want to die. <laughs> Blaze kill very quickly. One more. And then I'll let you go. This is just stunning. It really is. Um, hoping. Oh, douchebag. What am I doing? Fun. Some of them hopefully will die now. Oh, I'm not doing nothing. I should have seen that coming. Oh, well. Right. What I'm going to do is keep going until I'm 30 and I've got some armour and some tools so I could do with some nice enchantments on them. Oh, and I will... Oh, stupid. Will, will, will... Quickly show you one more feature of this. Which was the lava flow that's right at the very top. And I guess we'll see slash confirm if that works because the rest of it is thank you very much EFO or EFO's Lab which is his channel do check out everything he's got a Let's Play which is brilliant he does a Minecraft server with a load of guys amazing yes I'm a fan of EFO so sue me I really wish I knew what our spawn limit was and if it would actually kill my game if I breached it. <laughs> because there are so many, it's amazing. This is gorgeous. It really is. Um, for those that don't know, Blaze give the best XP in the game, I believe. So we'll do this as the last one and then shut it off. And hopefully it shuts off like it's meant to. Not overly fast with the to be fair. Right, so, gate closed, they're spawning. There's a magma cube in there, which is strange. That is a magma cube, right? Or is it part of the blaze? I don't know, it could just be there's so many. Right, this thing. Lava release at the top, hopefully, should start to light up, but the lava should not flow down to the bottom. I'm going to trust EFO's design and open up the gate. And... Ow! Ow, teach me. Alright, wait for him to come down. Close the gate. Finish off these last ones. Hopefully. Oh, this is stunning. 
beautiful, beautiful, you've been torched. And open the gate. And there's one more. Did he sp they are spawn I don't know. Are they spawning? Or are they just not down yet? I think they still might be spawning. Oh. Oh, oh, ow. Hmm. See, I can't really complain because I might have done something wrong. Do I want to go outside with ghasts and stuff? Not really. Um, but I'm gonna take that and some of that. Am I gonna be able to get anything? Any gas tears? Gas tears? Gas tears? No, my luck probably fell in the fire. Oh well. Right. Um, let's just have a little look up top. I did build myself a little path. I would say they're still spawning. But then I know nothing about this. <laughs> I could be wrong. Don't you dare shoot my stuff. Mr. Ghast. Um... Dude, seriously, go away. Yeah, yeah, you dead. No, 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 don't burn my stuff. Do we think they're spawning or do we think they're leftovers? I honestly have no idea. And I am now looking at this thinking I should really cover it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, one, two, three. Not too much, just so it's a bit more secure. Just a little bit. Because, as I said, I'm nowhere near clever enough to do all this myself. So, don't want to have to try and figure out how to fix it myself. Hmm. Hum and a hum and a hum. Are they spawning? You know what, to be fair, I don't actually care if they are. Um, this is amazing. <laughs> and chances are, if you watch EFO, like me, or if you start to, buy my referral. Believe me, you really, really, really should. He doesn't often get things wrong, so it's probably a mistake on my part. Or it's something different with Xbox. Which is possibilities. Are they... dead? That is very strange. I am so going to regret doing this. But I think I should... Maybe. Have a look. They're not there. But there were. But now they're not. And there is no more spawning. So, maybe, possibly... I don't know. But I'm putting that back because I'm scared. Anyway. This is amazing. <laughs> that is all. Gonna leave that on so it's off, if that makes sense. Yeah. Leave that on so it's off and thank you very much for watching.
If you enjoyed this, please like, comment and subscribe. And not only to myself, but to Efo, whose channel is Efo's Lab. It will be linked everywhere. The guy is amazing. His inventions are so wicked. And if it wasn't for him, CMB, Kid Mischief and a few others, I would not be able to do the things that I do and have learned what I've learned. And yeah, he is amazing. You guys are amazing for watching. Thank you very much, Sparty, and I'll see you again soon.